Okay, so we have here question number two from the C34 paper of January 2019, IAL. And here we have, um, first of all, to split this one fraction, this single fraction, into two, into separate fractions. You need to separate the fractions out. And they've given us the form that they want us to put it in. And we have to find the values of the constant A, B, and C. And then we have to use that to find the series expansion of what they gave us. Okay, and this is something which we're going to use for, in, in, in which we're going to use binomial expansion. Okay, so let's start off by splitting up this fraction into separate fractions, partial fractions. Okay, in order to do this, what we're going to do is, they've already given us, they already gave us the form here, so there's not much to do in that sense, but what we could do is we can multiply both sides of this, it's like an identity you could say, all right, by the same, by the LCM of the denominator. They're trying to get rid of these denominators. So multiplying by x plus 1 times x minus 3. And I'm multiplying all of this by the same thing, x plus 1 times x minus 3. And you'll see what happens is it gets rid of the fractions. This whole thing will cancel with that. So you're left with, on the left-hand side, 3x squared plus 4x minus 7 which is identical to okay and then the a will multiply with both of these so you have a times x plus 1 times x minus 3 plus b times well the x plus 1 will cancel with the x plus 1 leaving you with the x minus 3 and when you multiply this by the c it will be the x minus 3's that cancel out and you're left with let me make that c look less, less like a bracket Okay, so you have your C, and then you have X plus 1. Okay, now we've got to find the values of A, B, and C. Okay, for A, the, probably the easiest way to do it is to compare the coefficients of X squared. Because you can see on the left side, there's 3X squared. And on the right side, you can see the only X squared term that's going to be there is A times X times X. When you multiply this bracket, you'll have X squared. There will be no other x squared anywhere, and you have to multiply that x squared by a. So we know that for sure a is equal to 3. So we found the value of a. And for b and c, probably the easiest thing to do would be to um, substitute x equals uh, minus 1 in. If I substitute x equals minus 1 and replace the x with minus 1, this whole term and this whole term, uh, sorry, this whole term will disappear because you have minus 1 plus 1, that will give you 0. This bracket will become 0, so 0 times c is gone, 0. And when you put minus 1 instead of this x, this bracket will become 0. So you have a times 0 times minus 4, so the whole of this term will become 0. You'll only be left with the b term. So if I put, if I substitute x equals minus 1 into this identity, on this side I'll have 3 times minus 1 squared, plus 4 times minus 1, minus 7, Okay, and that's this will disappear. You have uh, minus one times minus one plus one is zero. This will disappear. You're left with only with this one. So you'll have b times x. Sorry, x is minus one. B times minus one minus three. So you're left with three times one. This becomes positive one. And minus four and minus seven is equal to minus four b. Okay, so 3 minus 4 is minus 1, minus 1 minus 7 is minus 8, minus 8 is equal to minus 4b, so therefore we can say b is equal to minus 8 divided by minus 4, which is positive 2. And to find the c term, I think the easiest thing to do, um, instead of substituting in 3, which we could do, we could substitute 3 into all of these, um, these two will disappear, leaving with this as, as a 3. I think in, in this case it's probably, um, in fact it's probably very similar, but I could compare the constants, okay, because the constant terms, if you look at the constants, on the left hand side you have minus 7, on the right hand side you're going to have uh, a minus 3 times an a, which is a minus 3a, and you're going to have a minus 3b, okay, and you're going to have a plus c. And we already know what a and b are, so you can say minus 7 
is equal to minus 3 times 3, which is minus 9, and minus 3 times 2, which is minus 6. So you have minus 7 is equal to minus 9 minus 6 plus C. Okay, now minus 9 minus 6 is minus 15. So C is going to be minus 7 plus 15. So we can say C is equal to 8. Okay, and the question asked us to do what exactly? Um, find the values of A, B, and C. Okay, so it didn't ask us to write it out in this form. Okay, we just find the values of A, B, and C. So we can say, as we said, A is 3, B is 2, and C is 8. And there we've answered question 2, part A. Okay, I'll do 2, part B on a separate video.